Let me get a um, coaster. <sighs> All right. Amazing. Well, thanks for having me over today. You are welcome. It's a pleasure. <clears throat> you know, I was at, um, I was like hanging out with some friends and we were all talking about coffee a couple weekends ago. And I was thinking about just ethics, ethics of business, mm -hmm. consequences of business. How does that apply or how is it applicable to coffee? Like, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. 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 What was your answer to that question? I, I mean, I, I see the ways myself, like it's, it feels like it's like a big part of what is motivating what we're doing and why we're trying to do it. Is there a way for us to have harmony, which in my mind is it's inclusive of like justice and equity yep. or like in that. Yep. It can't be harmonious <clears throat> if people are being harmed, you know? Okay, so like here's a part, a question that I have with it <clears throat> is, does a person, if you know that, if you know that the entirety of the system ha is, has flaws or right. failures in it, how do you choose to participate in it? How far do you, you know, like, do you create mm -hmm. your own Because I think that, yep. yeah, like with, so specifically with coffee, you have this industry which has been around forever. Yeah. <clears throat> so then the question is, I, I know for a fact that there's a ton of people within coffee who are, care about doing this work with people, yep. lifting people up, lifting yep. communities up and trying to bring it into it. But I don't know, I just, it's like one of those things where I feel like this internal question of, okay, one route would be to recreate the whole thing. So like, I'm gonna go find some land, <clears throat> we're gonna work yep. with some farmers, right. and we're gonna do all the work and bring it here, and right. we've got it. Or it's like participating with, yeah. Right, right. I don't know, I could keep going, yeah. but I really no, no, just no, wanna yeah. hear what yeah. you have to say. <laughs> I don't really have like... The answer. The answer. Um, Except to say that, like, in some ways, perfection is an illusion. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so I'm mm. wondering, like, so even if you think about, like, let's, see, let's say you create a microcosm that is informed, like, is morally perfect. Like, you remove your, so you're saying, like, let's start something from scratch. Yeah. Remove myself from yeah. the system mm -hmm. that is exploitative, fueled by growth and mm -hmm. this, like, jaw-dropping, you know, need mm. for mm. constant. I'm going to just take myself out of that, and we're going to have this tiny little thing. Yeah. Right? At least I know that we are doing this thing right, yeah. which is fine, which is awesome. But it's also only this tiny little microcosm. Yeah. Yeah. That in itself, you know, maybe helps us feel better because, like, mm -hmm. we're doing everything right. Mm hmm but it's just remo like it's kind of removed us. And just uh, but the other thing I would like to say probably is that by removing yourself from it, it doesn't stop from existing. the other stuff from existing. Yeah. You know, it's not like you removing it. Maybe you're making this small dent mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. right? And I'm sure that these are all things that you've thought about, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to say I have a right answer one way or the other because, like, there's, it, you have to, you have to live with yourself and your community and think about the ways that you're, yeah. what you're doing reflects what you hope to bring to the to world, have, yeah. right? And so like, if mm -hmm. you feel like you can't, if you can't even add some of that to that broad system by being in it, mm -hmm. then it makes sense to leave, mm -hmm. right? Like if there's no way that you can kind of infuse. Well, I even think yeah. that I ended up yeah. being a business owner because of the journey mm -hmm. of being a person within a group of people. Mm -hmm. I was like among a team or among a corporation or among a, in, you know, like an entity within an industry <clears throat> and feeling like there is no room for this. Yeah. You know, the, and it, what it comes down to is values. Yeah. That is the primary, yeah. these people are their value is money. Mm -hmm. That is not 
that is a different direction. We are going to make different choices every time yep. than if I'm saying, I value a person. Yep. I value people and their community and our community. Mm -hmm. Like just, and this is what I love about coffee and why I think that it, it's such an incredible product doesn't do the justice what it is. It's not a product. It's like this thing yeah. that we have. And <clears throat> there's something amazing about it that um, I think has a special spot within our culture because it's touching all these different yeah. people groups. Yep. We could grow cotton and have mills here and like make our own clothing here mm -hmm. in the States. We could do that. Yep. But we don't because we can get it cheaper somewhere else. And so it creates this global system, which isn't really, it's not necessary. But with coffee, it is necessary. Yeah. Because you can't grow it here. Right. And you have all these different places that by the nature of coffee, as you get into it, you realize like, man, coffee from East Africa tastes really different from coffee from West mm -hmm. Africa, much less Central America, or South America, or Indonesia. Yeah. So <clears throat> as you go tumbling down the coffee rabbit hole, you realize like, whoa, there's all of this variance and difference and all these different cultures that people have around growing and growing things and processing and it becomes like very exciting mm -hmm. around coffee specifically where there's the farmer the coffee farmer who loves growing and processing coffee yeah. is very happy to work with somebody from another part of the globe it's like a celebrated thing yeah. versus you're only here because you know it's cheaper here so right. you know like it can right. be a, a positive symbiotic relationship with the coffee so that's so why I find it as a product on a market as very interesting to then engage with ethics around it. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I feel like if a person has a different set of values than the next company, how all of those trickle down effects, um, it, it, it creates a completely different environment and a way of like the consequences of them are crazy. It's mm -hmm. like really big. So then I'm wondering, do we make, should we make a model then? Should we make a way that is duplicable and hold it up and be like, here's a way to do right. it. Right. That is inverse from this industry, but I don't need, I can do it this way and I don't need the industry to do anything different. Right. Because we can do this. Right. Do you, okay, so here, so with that, I'm going, so you acknowledged it. It's a much smaller. Yep effect yep. and like much smaller like entity but it could stay true to a set of values still imperfect mm -hmm. but do you do that or do you try to go for like large scale ch like you know because these are two very different approaches mm -hmm. to make change mm -hmm. So I guess uh, I'm thinking on two levels as yeah. you're talking. Yeah. I was just kind of thinking about if you really wanted to measure, if you really wanted this mm -hmm. transformation to occur, mm -hmm. then the truth is that you need people who are willing to, people collectively yeah. need to be hitting in both levels, right? Like, yeah. and that is a different kind of question than what is a person to do? A person mm -hmm. like you who has these, skills who has this love who has this passion right mm -hmm. like what is that person to do and you then you see like in my individual decisions or as i think about how i'm going to plan my way of participating in this mm -hmm. then it looks like a different kind of process right because you're kind of saying look i can't i can't be in that yeah. without losing so much of what really matters and so then your question becomes how can i demonstrate that like it is possible to hold to certain values and pursue one's, you know, deep love of this. Yeah. I don't even want to like plant <laughs> commodity. Yeah, right. Um, right. I would say it is probably right that it is impossible to have a insatiable growth mentality. Yeah and be morally motivated. Those two things don't mm. 
They Say don't. Say that again. Say that again. I don't know the what I said. Insatiable growth mentality. Yeah. Like have that yeah. is our goal. Yep. Is insatiable grow. growth. Yep. Grow, grow, grow. Grow, right? grow, grow. Yep. Because that's what we want. Yep. Yep. And you're not succeeding unless you're growing. And if right? you can't have that and have like I think, morality, I think a like, moral, yeah, you moral, can, that can't be guided. That becomes by, the moral. Yes. Like you lose, you let go of all the other parts. Yeah, of like, it becomes like a cold economic rationality that is not. When is enough enough? I know. Dude? Yeah, like, so that's the thing. It's like this, so, your question of like what yeah. is the difference is like sustainability. So I always thought mm. it was really ridiculous in some ways the you know as ethics kind of makes its way into business mm -hmm. a lot of times you hear a lot of people talk about sustainable growth mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but it's like well the things we have now are not like not sustainable <laughs> and they're not built on being sustainable we actually need to limp like i don't know how we Pull get to back. a place where we can say we don't need to grow you know maybe some things do i don't know there's different but i don't get this because yeah. like we have more than we have ever right. had we have more now than ever we have right. more money right we have more clothes more houses more building yep. material more cars yep. more electricity we have more than we've ever had more food and all of our securities yep. and we're still like I need more. Like this yeah. guy, we well, need. And we're like, not I, happier. We're not happy. We're not happier. We're not at happy. All. No. And we've it's like more destruction. Yeah. More yeah. unhappiness. But we have more than we've ever had. Yep. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you can't you can't step away from the economy. You know, like right, you have right, to participate. Right. We're participating. But you but figure out a way that. That's not the problem. Is yeah, like the web is yeah. healthy, and yes. you you focus. What's going to keep the web healthy? Yeah. The whole and ourselves and like and that is hard, right? Like you, I think uh, you already know, and you, I assume you're like it's not sure footing, <laughs> like you know, yeah. it's not like you're like Every, we're gonna be just fine. A lot yeah. of times, I'm sure there's like yeah night sweats and things, but for sure. But this is what I find so beautiful about making. If you choose to make the web around you, I have experienced more security than I've ever had in my life. And that isn't through financial security. Yep. That the actual true security came from trying to build harmony in community with people mm -hmm. on like a true relational yep. way. Yep. And when the storms came and and everything fell apart, um, no, I didn't have any financial security. There wasn't right. any like, oh, good thing I have all of this. Right. money right. over here but the real honest true what is security came from people yeah because you built relationships right i the, mean they're that, that web, relational yes the relations yep. like the relationship was the whole thing yep. and that's what held us up this is what's true about humans yeah and about existence business interfaces with it but i feel like the business narrative is telling us um, a slanted version of it to ha towards it, its end. So um, Yeah, that's interesting because I'm like, okay, so I'm automatically thinking, well, I wonder if this is also sort of distinctively modern Western, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. because the, the mm -hmm. hyperfixation on the kind of atomistic individual is yeah. a result of this broader kind of intellectual yeah. imperialist colonial, like this whole thing, yes. right? If I step back and just think about the, the way the narrative has progressed over time yeah. to such a degree that culture mm -hmm. becomes um, kind of absorbs that narrative, repeats that narrative. Mm -hmm. We live that out. Mm -hmm. We see it in so many different ways, but especially I think within the U S context, this mm -hmm. idea of like what matters is you depend on you. Mm -hmm. Um, this idea that like who we are as consumers are, um, you know, always choosing self-interest. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can already see like, you yes. know, the, like the Darwinian narrative uh -huh. comes in like see so like science philosophy yes. all the things like feeding into this sense that like it's about you this is how it is and it's like amping up 
It right? is. So the, the people are so, yeah. they're wisely choosing careers and data analytics because like if we can harness mm -hmm. the power of data, we get mm -hmm. way better at like targeting you yeah. specifically and like you are so special. You know, and like it's just sharpening that idea uh, that we exist in isolation, isolation, right? Which is false. It's so <laughs> like, false. It's so false. This is crazy. It's right. like it's this yeah. veneer. Yeah. It's like a veneer yes. yeah. that is and like that, this is how yes. it works. But it's like no, just lift it up and look right. under, and nobody is independent. No, nothing lives yeah. by itself. Right. Nobody's autonomous. Right. We are all connected, and so I'm like. Can we build a thing based yeah. upon the connection? Can we like make actual things in the world mm -hmm. that exist within how laws are right now, how yeah. economics right. work within a market? Like, don't change any rule. Right. Let's exist within the rules, but make something that lives and feeds off of the connection versus off of an, a false idea yep. of isolation. Yeah. I do think, um, God, there's such an urgent need for a reframe or like for conceiving of alternative ways. And I think that's what's mm. really interesting about what you and we are doing mm -hmm. collectively mm -hmm. and trying to like mm -hmm. realize community without being in a commune you know what i mean like yes. there's like that stream, extreme moment where like yeah. we're all gonna live together and <laughs> yeah, like, right. really share everything <laughs> um but like i i know that young people yeah rightfully are um terrified mm -hmm. of their future mm -hmm. because they like i'm taking on debt to get a mm -hmm. degree and then i'm gonna get more debt and I might not even land a job that's going to have benefits. And then I've got to pay for retirement. I've got to pay for a house. I've got to pay for my college debt. And then if I want to have a family, yeah. like they're, like all of the things. Much less a vehicle to drive Absolutely. to the job. Absolutely. But like there are so few models available mm -hmm. for like a sharing economy mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. living differently so mm -hmm. that you realize that there are alternative, alternative. modes. You don't actually yeah. have to live yeah. the way that... <laughs> yes. The way that, the, that it seems like you have to live. Um, and, but the, yeah. you think about the power and energy that just young people have. Yeah. Just like that group of folks, how much is in them and they hold. Mm -hmm. And then you think about those few people who are trying to control and continue that. It's like, these guys aren't going to like... <laughs> This is, yeah. these are, yeah. but I do hope that there are models. I hope that there are, there are things to be able to point to for people who are saying, okay, enough is enough. Yeah. It is time to like yeah. do something. Yeah. And we need to have some more coffee. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I really appreciate your perspective and it all is like so encouraging for me to, speak with you because you ha you're this wealth of knowledge and perspective on this and it, it I feel really grounded in hearing what you're saying because it's kind of like okay these are real elements mm -hmm. they're real like the challenges are real yeah the situation we are in yeah. as a group of people is real yeah and there's also you see and experience this other aspects to reality yep. that we could that's where we can we have to shine the light on it you have to put your perspective on those things that are actually happening because it breaks through the ignorance like you, yeah. if you, otherwise you think there's only, think one, there's way only one way to do it yeah yeah so i don't know amazing mm. thanks abby Lane. yes i could do this forever <laughs> <laughs> i do do this this is my this life, is what my you life. <laughs> different people all the time yeah. Mm. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah. Thanks for having me here. Mm -hmm. Plank. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.